My name is Jeff Hanna and I've been a cabin maker all my life. I started work when I was just nearly 15, learned an apprenticeship here in Lismore. Now basically all I do is just make furniture so um, I just concentrate on things with a lot of work in it or a lot of time, usually French or Fle Flemish or English or European style at any rate. Yeah, the last cabinet is the Hanna cabinet and it's the biggest of, of the four. Uh, it's eight foot long and eight foot high and 30 inches deep and it has uh, 18 doors and 140 drawers in it. This one has been dedicated to my family, is where the name comes from. These catches there, the flush barrel balls I had to make all through the cabinet. They're the honey eaters on those doors. These are our parrots. Um, it's all going to be hand drawn first. Uh, once you get a hand drawing, I've got one here that's going to draw this up the top. So once it's drawn and I get that right, then I'll take a tracing off that and then trace it back onto the wood and cut the wood out. And then every individual petal or feather, in this case, is dipped in hot sand and scorched to get that shading effect and to get the separation. So it's all drawn before I can actually, uh, actually make it. The uh, hummingbirds. This chest that this comes out and it locks there, but I haven't got it locked so I can get it out. But then there's a chest that draws in the side of it. That's the piece of material of Marie Antoinette's bed in Versailles. It was given to me in 1980, a little piece of fabric. And that's the heart of the New Zealand power shell, which is um, vivid blue and green, but the heart is actually purple and mauve. And it's the rarest part of the shell. So I made drawer bottoms out of that and inlaid the front, and it's Chinese walnut planted by the Chinese in Ballarat. At the cab that was made completely here in the workshop. We've got all the machinery to be able to build something of this size. Uh, don't need the help from anyone else. We've got all the saws, the equipment to do it. So let's go and have a look at it. Everything I make is worked out off a job card, is how I take, calculate the cost. cost. Uh, so I know damn well the cab is not dear, it's not expensive. And um, but where it'll end up, I don't know. I'd like to see it in a public place. I mean, it'd be nice to keep it in New South Wales somewhere because it's um, you know I've lived and worked all my life here in the Northern Rivers. But where, and you wouldn't know where where the sale had come from. You just don't know. It might never happen. Get the reaction of the public, and even school kids and little kids. They walk in and they. Just can't believe what they're looking at, you know. And of course, you know, some people just break down and cry when they see it. They just get that overwhelmed with it. Because when you see uh, this cabinet, I mean, not, not a lot of people have laid eyes on something like this because, I mean, there's not much produced like this, or especially in Australia. And most people are just look, looking at mainly household furniture they'd see in a, a showroom somewhere or a second hand shop. But to see something of this style and the enormity of it, um, yeah, it just overwhelms them sometimes. You get upset yourself for the person, you know, because I mean, I know when I look at some artwork sometimes, I mean, or you see something that someone's done over the years, I mean, you look, it's just, yes, yeah, yeah, a lot of love out of it. 